Hey everyone, my name's Pupsker, and today in Warframe, we're gonna go over the fastest way to farm Vein Thorns for the new Warframe at Dagath, for the new weapon, the Dorclave, as well as anything to come out in the future. Just a quick reminder, if you don't know where to grab Dorclave and Dagath, they are clan creations, so you have to go to your clan into the dojo, into Digath's Hollow, in order to build them. But that's not the main focus of today. The main focus is farming Vein Thorns. In order to farm Vein Thorns, you need to be able to go to Saris, and you need to be able to run the Abyssal Zone mission right here. For this mission to actually show up, you need to purchase keys for the mission. These keys can be purchased from any one of your main six syndicate standings, and I believe you have to be rank two in the syndicate. And each one of those keys are called the Abyssal Beacon and they are 5,000 reputation standing each. So each run of this mission will cost you 5,000 uh, standing from there. To get Vein Thorns, if you're running regular, non-steel path you can get drops of i believe six seven eight and if you're running steel path i think your drops are something like you can get a drop of eight ten eleven twelve something along the lines of that maybe it's like eight or eleven or twelve so if you're running this on steel path you will collect more vein thorns but other than that all you need to run this mission is a fast Warframe, and you can run it in parties, in singles, whatever you want, because this is an exterminate mission, and the only gimmick to it is you essentially have to grab a dragon key and then take it to the end of the mission. Each character in the mission has to do that, so let's jump into the mission and talk about that. So once you actually get into the mission, you can see that you're greeted by someone just yelling at you, and you can see in the top left that you need to collect defixios, whatever that is, as well as, yeah, kill enemies because this is an exterminate mission. I would always recommend throwing down your on-call crew so you don't have to pay attention, maybe a specter if you have them, either or works. What you're gonna want to do is talk to the people in this mission. You can see them on the map. They have this uh, blue type of thing around them. Talk to them. They will then show an area on the map where you can grab the defixio. The defixio is this item right here. As you can see and hear, it makes a sound and it looks and glows red. You can find these without talking to the people, but it's just easier if you talk to them. All you have to do in this mission is take this defixio to the end of the mission and you're good to go. If you have a group of four, there needs to be four defixios handed in at the end of the mission. But since I am solo, I can quickly just go do all of this myself for the sake of the video and for the sake of the mission. So if you're ever going to do this mission solo, make sure you bring a fast Warframe that can just annihilate enemies very easily. That's why I grabbed Protea, because you can always throw down her sort of turrets and just annihilate enemies. But that's honestly pretty much all there is to this mission. The only other thing is each one of these defixios is essentially a dragon key. So once you pick it up, you get a debuff. Picking up this one, you can see your ammo depletes steadily, battery weapons uh, replenish slower, like deplete, something like that. So these are essentially dragon keys that debuff you until you obviously hand it into the end of the mission and complete the mission. So that's literally all you have to do. There are eight defixios that spawn every mission, no matter what. And at most, if you have a party of four, you will need to hand in four defixios at the end of a mission, okay? So you can just do what I'm doing, kill all the enemies and carry the defixio with you. I don't think anyone will really ever care. Or you can do what some people do in group play. They grab the defixio and then they rush to the end of the mission and completely grab defixio hand it in while everyone else is killing and they hand in like all four defixios for you i'm you just running protea right now so i can explain everything as i run through this mission but all things considered it's not really that hard and that's uh that's all you have to do the only annoying part straight up is going to be like finding all of the extra defixios and everything because there there's a lot okay and just getting used to the mission but this mission should not take much time at all so let's just cut to the end of 
the mission, and then I'll show you how many vein thorns I get. Since I'm walking by this Defixio right now, I just want to bring up, like, Defixios can spawn at any random place, and they can literally spawn in the middle of where you're running to get to the end of the mission. So, yeah. Always pay attention, though, if you do drop your Defixio like I did to pick it back up if you're trying to use your primary weapon, because that can get you sometimes. But once you just pick up the Defixio, you take it to the end here. We're about to get, like, six, seven, eight vein thorns, and that's all you have to do to end the mission and run this. So we're going to get eight vein thorns here, and that is how you farm vein thorns. Hopefully it helped. If it did, sub, like, and check out all the other social medias. I just wanted to make a quick video quickly going over this, uh, that not a launch day video. So hope it helps. Thank you all for watching, subbing, Epic Games Creator Code Pupsker, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, right? We have all the socials all down below. So thank you. Cheers.